All right, here we go again. It's a tier nine game, barely tier nine game on El Haluf in encounter mode in my T32. And this makes me happy because T32s love encounter mode on this map. We just run straight over to the A23 gap. We set up defensively and we basically eat everything that tries to come up around the corner at us. So. Rolling forward, a lot of tanks running this way. I'm assuming that most of the tank destroyers will peel off around the, the tank destroyer ledge at B6. Well, I certainly wouldn't mind if, I don't know, if they have, no, these really have good gun depression. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having one tank destroyer up there to have an extra punch to the, uh, the defense. IS-8 coming this way, he doesn't have the top gun yet, but it doesn't matter, he still has a, a very, very nice cannon on there. And I can tell by the shape of the barrel that there's a Conqueror straight behind me. So it looks like both the tier 9s come up this way to assist in the defense. The rest of the team seems to be spreading out pretty decently. Our Leopard tank is finally leaving the start line. But, you know, he's got the speed. He'll go where he thinks he's needed. And first enemy spotted, Yank Panther 2, down in G6. No concern of mine. It's funny that it's unlikely anything can spot us here at this particular moment. I decided to turn my gun and point it in the general direction of the enemy team. Just in case there's incoming fire. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have that cold. Um... Nothing shoots at us here. The ISA and the IS-3 are going to get there ahead of me, and I really hope they don't take up the spot I want in the corner. Because simply put, they can't hold it nearly as well as I can. Alright, enemy scout tank spotted. Oh, there's a super Pershing across the way. But uh, there's a rival of Pershing and an E-50 over here. Has me thinking that I have more important problems. Alright. So yeah, I roll in front of this IS-3, which might be a little bit rude, but this is pretty well, as close as I can get to my chosen spot. Oh, hit the AMX-5100 pretty good. And then remain angled. Oop, E-50, very important tier 9 target. Uh, I should have aimed a little bit lower so that I could have uh, tracked him. Oop, but like this guy. Ah, unfortunately he got some momentum going backwards, someone else gives him a good clobber. E-50 comes back up. Aims at me, damages me, good for him. For odd reason. Decides to stick around. Whoop, there's a Tiger 2 in the base. If I got bigger problems, I'm the one holding the line right here. There we are, track the Pershing right where he should be vulnerable. He untracks because he knows how vulnerable he is. Oh, well, he's aiming at me. Ow. Oh, well, if he wants to run away, I'll track the 50 right there. Someone take him out! There we go. All right, who's next? Who else wants to drive in front of the the bouncing machine here? There's definitely still that purging back there. Unfortunately, I don't uh, I don't realize at the time, but you see the gun barrel behind me. That's that IS-3. He really wants to shoot right there. So I try and back up a little bit so that he can have a shot. But yeah, this is a. It's, it's a tough spot to have this many heavy tanks sitting in. We're all kind of big. There we are. Mr. Pershing, you can just sit right there. I know you've already used your repair kit. Someone else gives him a good shot. Back up a little more to try and clear the line of fire. And... Yep, just to try and pin him right there so people can blast them. That is the IS-3 asking me to back up just a bit. So it's good. Ah. And of course, I end up obstructing his view again. Oop, AMX is back. Oh, one hit point. Really? And I'm just playing defensively, and I know it. Which, of course, is still screwing that poor IS-3 behind me. Oh, dude, I don't know what your name was, but I, uh, I feel, in hindsight, I feel a little bad. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was blocking you that bad at the time. I should have watched him chat more carefully rather than my gun sight. All right, most of the tanks here have been badly damaged, so it's time to move forward and start looking to get some attacks downhill. I think this IS-3 is frustrated enough, though, that he decides he's not going to bother with all things like caution. Okay, it's T-28, got to careful where I aim. He wasn't careful enough, fortunately. He wasn't careful either, and he ends up shooting me in the turret, and I can totally take shots to the turret. That's better. Side shot. Boom. Goes right smack down. I actually went to the top of his uh, front deck. <coughs> Alright. Reload. 
carefully for the back. Put another round, leave him relatively low health. Whoa, the T28 prototype manages to track me right here, but this is actually a pretty safe spot for me. Yeah, T28 is taken out by the IS-8. Now, well, unfortunate for the IS-3, apparently he's gotten sick and tired of being shot turbines. Being having me in the white side, so one in front of me. We both missed the purging, and he lo he's losing all of his health. Ooh, there's a lot of tanks with ISU up there. I'm not really sure what to shoot at. I said something crash into me. Fortunately, doesn't seem to have done a lot of damage. So once again, switch around to being back like this. IS-3 manages a tracking hit. T20 is trying to get away. Oh, he even got a damaging shot in, and then is killed. Jack Panther 2. Bounce off the IS-3, because you know IS-3 very bouncy. Go for another shot in the front of the IS-3. I don't think that went in somehow. But with him vanished, I now know that I'm probably off the minimap, and therefore I can advance safely. <laughs> I'm here following two tier, both our tier 9s in. We're all kind of shot up. And that's when suddenly the appearance of a mutant and a super Persian in the middle gets my attention. Despite possible threats from my flank above, I decide to try and engage them. I can't really seem to do it from right here. Whoop. Jag Panther above, very important target. Tier 9, tank destroyer. Boom, wow, he's taking eye. And he just took a big hammering for finally being spotted. He's trying to make a break for it. I can't hurt him from this angle, but if he just turns a little bit, like that, I got another good shot into him. Yeah, even a tier 9 tank for the Yag Tire can die in an awful hurry. And when he turns his flank to face us, the Yag Panther 2 takes him out from the flank. Alright, now we can deal with. Ooh, flank shot to Super Pershing. That sounds wonderful. Thank you very much. Ah, I do is track him. There's the mutant. No, oh, that wasn't a very good shot. Oh, hey, Super Pershing's looking away again. And the Borsig's just there, like, look at me, I'm Borsig. As he moves in and just tack nukes the mutant right off the uh, face of the planet. I'm only moving up to try and gain a better vantage point on the Super Pershing. It was rather rapidly being torn apart. I managed to get the final shot in. So, my, actually, my first kill of the game. You can see how low I am on ammunition, but now the only thing left is that is a Borsig. So, I switched to high explosive uh, with the intent of just aiming at his little gun shield to take him out. However, uh, both the Conqueror and IS-8 were both faster than I am, but uh, closer to him than I am. I'm going up here thinking, yep, I'm pretty much done with this match. But I continue forward anyways. Crazy fair things have happened than, you know, a single boar sake taking out two tier 9 tanks. La la la, not much to say. So anyways, this I think this is a good showcase of just how tough this tank is when you keep it into a good side scrape or hull down position. Uh, even so, of course, several sneaky shots did get in. And there goes the Borsig. Victim of the Conqueror. So, good game and good night.